Welcome to another YouTube tutorial. Um, today I'm going to be going over the help desk. So let's go ahead and log on by going to staff and then selecting help desk. I've created a test account. Um, that way we can show you how to use the system. Um, so when you first log in, you're going to come to your home page. Um, basically, this home page is set to this box right here is going to show you all about your tickets um, old ones the new ones that you have pretty much everything is right going to be there um, to the right we have some frequently asked questions just a few things um, hopefully we'll be adding some more items to this that will be able to answer your questions just by looking at that um, up top we have home create a ticket which we can easily create a ticket by selecting on that and then we'll be showing you how to do that um, you can view our tickets which is basically pretty much like this box only it's a whole page designed to show you the tickets reservations which we are not using and then the frequently asked questions which is also right here on your right side so let's go ahead and create a ticket when you select on it you're gonna pop up a new uh, new page what it's gonna do is you can select the urgency of your ticket um, you can select if you want to be by email notified or not um, what type of hardware you're having um, which right now we're not going to be using but again shortly we plan on to be able to use this which if you if I had some of you might already have it where it shows your computers that's in your classroom under here also we can have a type if it's an incident or if it's a request um, request would be if you would like some kind of software downloaded or um, a web page unblocked that would be a request an incident would be if you're having a problem with the machine for instance it won't turn on or power issues printing issues that would be an incident um, category is going to be technology for us so we can go ahead and select that now and the title so whatever you're having problems with, let's just say projector for an example. Now under the description of the problem, what we want to do is put as much information in here as possible. Um, even if it's what time that you don't have a class that day that I can come in and look at it, if it's going to be something more extensive, or if you don't mind me coming in during class, you know, please state that. That way I don't feel like I'm interrupting or... Um, that I'm just barging in and taking up your class time. So let's just, we're going to put test description in here. You can put anything you want. The problem is, and down here we also have the option that we can upload an image or a page with this. So if I had a, if I had a document that I wanted to, to attach to this, I could just search for it, put it on there and then that way I'll know. So let's go ahead and submit this ticket. You're going to notice that you're going to hear some sounds in the background. That's our phones and our email going off. Um, basically as soon as these tickets are created we get sent an email. Um, some ask why it's not just faster just to send the email. Well it's because basically how we can view the ticket system. I can go in, this is our administrative panel and I can go into tickets and I can notice that you know I have I have an open ticket and right there's the one that you just sent my email could get lost in trans could get lost you know over the throughout the day I get so many emails that pretty soon it becomes on the bottom of the list and I have nothing to remind me that it's there this is a constant reminder that I have a ticket open and a problem so we're able to solve this problem a lot faster and we know it's we know it's there so I can go in here, let's say that I went in here, I looked at your description and said, oh, okay. Went to the classroom, fixed the problem, I now can close this ticket. I will put in here usually what the problem was and what we did to fix it. We can update. Now if I go back to look at the page on yours, on your system, I'll notice that I have one solved ticket in here. 
Um, these tickets, once they are solved under your account, every night or I think it's 24 hours, they're going to automatically go from the solved status to a closed. Um, now, if you look at it later in the day and say, okay, we have fixed the problem, I can go into this ticket and select approved solution. That way it lets us know what we did has fixed the problem. Um, you can also refuse the solution also. So that way we know if what we did has fixed it or if it's not fixed it. This way it tells us if we need to do something different and also it will keep records of what we're doing to fix certain things. Um, so we'll get a better idea of how to solve problems faster. And that is pretty much the help desk in a and a quick overview. Um, hopefully we'll be adding some more more items to it. Um, just go ahead and play around with it. If anybody has any questions, let us know. I mean, we have all these tabs here that we can use too, as, as such as follow-ups. Um, the one big thing I wanted to go over real quick, when we're creating a ticket, the submit message. This is a single click button. So if I would have if I would have submit my ticket and I would have double clicked this button, it would have sent me in two tickets. They would have been the same ticket, but that is just a single click button. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much it. And I hope everybody realizes how important this is for us, um, just to be able to go over go over this system like how we can view it. It's, it's really nice to have everything listed when you're dealing with five schools to be able to see exactly what's going on. So. Again, thank you for tuning in, and uh, if you have any questions, let us know. Thanks.